Well, let's have a talk about what's going on here. I was going to say no more about it, but I got a response from our uh, friends at Wildfire Lifts, and uh, I would describe it to be rather curt and uh, unapologetic, really. They uh, offered me some bearings. Uh, I don't want those bearings. Thank you very much. Uh, there's, there's a piece of one right there that fell out of there. So what essentially happened here was, because I don't think I made myself clear by showing it, uh, bearing collapsed. Bearings fell out. The cable was essentially riding on the pin. And I, there's a bunch of scarred, uh, mar scarring marks, not only on the pin, but the bush, I mean the, uh, the spacers and everything else. So it was essentially... Uh, I would call that dangerous. Okay, uh, so it, it, that's, just, that's just not good. Now, I haven't, I've had a good attitude about this. Uh, these things happen to me because I generally can fix them. If they happen to other people who aren't listening to their lift or look around or ma maintain their lift like they should, uh, then uh, you're in for some trouble. So, and I don't care what lift it is. It don't have to be this lift or this brand or whatever it is. You got to maintain your lift. And I'm digging the covers not being on there. That's that's my responsibility. It is my property and my lift, and I, I make the decisions on what happens here. But since I had the failure, I couldn't see. I want to be able to look across and see things. And nobody's going to be here. Nobody's going to stick their tongue in in in, in right there and, and uh, hurt themselves. Most people are very afraid of lifts. So the response was they would send me some more bearings. I don't want their bearings. I'll get my own bearings. Uh, I technically have not asked them for anything. Uh, I felt like I was doing the right thing. I felt like I was uh, giving them an opportunity to, uh, to be great. Because as we all know, you can't be great unless first you're good. So, so far, it's not going real well. I'm not, but I'm not really asking for anything. I just, uh, I, w I would send out notifications to everybody I could, maybe make your own YouTube video, maybe reference mine and say, be careful of this because some people, they'll hear funny noises on a lift and they just kind of expect that to happen. Uh, they are noisy things. They go clackety, clackety, clackety. So uh, it's not that it really masks the noise. It's that it was... Uh, it, you know, you just wouldn't expect that. I've used it 40 times in a year and uh, more or less, but not, not much more. So uh, anyway, I would say the response wasn't good. It was too long-winded. It was uh, sort of uh, spanking me a little bit, and I told him that. And uh, so I probably won't hear anything more from him. But if you want to hear anything for, uh, from your family or anything like that, or uh, like I said, uh, you know, I got a unicycle over there. I uh, was a professional water skier and snow skier, and I uh, look around. I'm, I'm no schlub when it comes to this particular stuff. I restored that air compressor. There's my Jaguar. There's, there's my Healy, and I keep everything running and going and fine. And, uh, but I'm a mechanical type person. So uh, I would like to keep being a mechanical type person, and being alive while doing it is always an advantage. So uh, I would consider this to be uh, very dangerous. So, and I had the bearings taken to a professional bearing place. We went to Allied Bearings. And they said that the bearings that were in there were uh, uh, basically not very good. Sean agreed, and that, that was not their terminology. I got them right here. Uh, and you, you can you can roll that along, and you can tell that is not a precision bearing. You can feel it. You can just feel that it's not. So uh, when the bearings fracture in half or, or little splinters, that is just not going to be. That's not going to work out good for you. I don't care what it is. So uh, I'm not asking for anything. I haven't said that you need to re reimburse me for my six hours of labor, my 40 miles of driving or the $250 in bearings. I have not made that request. I felt like this was more of a safety issue. So, uh, 
there's no reason to say anything to me. I'm not, I'm not, trying, to, uh, I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm trying to help people. So let's, let's all try to be great, okay? And let's all try to be gracious and don't get anywhere uh, being accusatory. But the facts are the facts. And the facts are the bearings in this lift were junk.